everyone, it's Jamal Thomas. Welcome to the Progressive Soapbox. So one of my subscribers, one of my awesome, awesome subscribers, um, tweeted me a link. Now the link was to an interview that Bernie Sanders had with Chris Hayes, sitting side by side with Tom Perez, essentially Team Tom. Now, she forwarded it to me, Jimmy Dore, and I think it was somebody else. Now look, just the association, the fact that she put Progressive Soapbox and Jimmy Dore side by side. Oh, I love that. I love that. There's no comparison between the two, of course, but I absolutely love that. Um, I haven't watched this interview yet, so let's watch it together. I, I think it's probably going to be pretty illuminating and pretty interesting. But at the very least, we get to see Sanders' perspective of it. If Sanders is saying, I am not a Democrat, but I'm for some reason working with the party. Well, I want to understand why. So let's take a look. Our job is to bring millions of people into the political process. Our job is to radically transform the Democratic Party. And when we are united, we are strongest as a party. note on that part. I, every time I, I don't like platitudes. I think I've said it before. I really dislike platitudes. And I don't like flowery language. It's almost as if flowery language is used to conceal reality in that sense. I don't necessarily think that's me being cynical. I think it's me looking at it and saying, well, dude, I don't know what you just said right there. You're using flowery rhetoric. That's great. That's somewhat manipulative. You want people to have a certain feeling about it. But what does it mean? What does it mean? I only care about what it means. I care about the substance, not this rhetoric associated with it. If Sanders is going to say our job is to bring people back into the political process, fair enough. Poli bring them back in what way? In what way? Why don't you just say I would like to sheepdog people back into the Democratic Party? What else do you mean by bring people into the political process? That seems to be what you mean. I, I don't know what I'm missing here. He, he never is that explicit and says, I want people back into the Democratic Party. That's what I want to hear him say, because that's the reality of the situation. I want people back into the political process. That's vague. In what capacity? Do you want him signing up as Republicans? Do you want him engaged, but not necessarily voting? What capacity do you want them in in regards to the political process. The point that I'm continuously making, and I've heard a lot of people make, you're trying to bring people into the Democratic Party. You screamed from Mike to Mike to Mike all across the nation that you want a political revolution. Not only did I agree with you, I believed that that's what you wanted. Millions of people believed that that's what you wanted, a political revolution. And I'm sorry, this is somewhat of an, an aside here, but it's, it's, I'm tired of these platitudes. I'm tired of the platitudes. The Democratic Party, from the time the election ended, where that woman failed and lost to the goddamn apocalypse, to now, they've been insisting that there is some level of unity in this process. I don't know what that is. If you really need to go from state to state, 50 states, to tell everybody how united you are, Newsflash, maybe you're not that united. Maybe you're not that united. I don't necessarily need to convince myself that air exists if I'm still breathing. Certainly, your reasoning for doing this is to try to drag people back into the party. And you're using Sanders, his credibility, his popularity, his just sheer awesomeness, his leverage to do that. You're using him to launder your image. That's why you're standing on stage with him. That's why you're screaming out his name at every opportunity. This is not this is not unclear to us. If that's if that's what I mean, if that's the way I'm trying to say it. It's not you're not tricking anybody on this. Or look, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you are tricking some people on this. Maybe. The fact that you're on stage with Sanders. There are some people who are blind enough or full on in that fantasy enough to believe that there is still some similarities between you and Sanders. 
Yes, there may be similarities. No, those similarities are not to the degree that you're trying to make everybody think they are. Which is why I use the term scam and I use the term con. 15 million people didn't leave your party for no reason. They didn't leave it for no reason. They had just cause. They had extremely good just cause. It's Sanders. It's saying he wants to bring people into the political process. It sounds to me like he's saying, I want to get people back into the Democratic Party. If Perez is talking about resistance, what does that mean? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Again, your flowery platitudes elude me. I don't know what that means. Resistance in what capacity? Is it just to reflexively be against everything that Trump is pushing? Does that mean you're for the TPP? I was against the TPP. I actually like the fact that Trump kill to TPP. What are you saying? I don't know what this resistance thing means. I don't know what it means. Be specific. Be specific. I'm sick of the flowery language. It's like, yes, we want to resist. Okay. A, who is we? That's the first part. I don't know who we is. I don't know who we is. So let's mark that down as number one. Two, what specifically does resistance mean? And what exactly are you resisting? Are you resisting xenophobia? Fair enough. I'm against that. Are you resisting these white nationalist groups? Yeah, I'm against that too. But what does it mean in practicalities in a sense of policy? Because just because you're reflexively against something, that tells me nothing about what you are for. I'm still in the dark on what you're for. I know what Sanders is for. Sanders, at every opportunity. Sanders can be talking about Syria. He could be talking about weapon strikes. And Sanders would drop somewhere in that conversation, the poor and the middle class are getting beat up. We need to do something about it. That's Sanders. That drives him. I understand it. It's in his heart. It's in his heart. The things that he believes in accentuates. Even the things that he tries to accomplish is a logical outflow of what he believes in. But that's logical. That makes sense to me. I shouldn't have to browbeat you into doing stuff or pushing you into doing stuff that you yourself continuously tell me that you want to do. You were in office for eight years, or at the very least, your guy was in office for eight years. In that speech that you gave, that this, at this particular rally, where you're screaming about your values, and then you came up with some self-serving list of things that the Democratic Party stood for. Early on, I made this point of when did you get this list? And how come the other Democrats didn't have this list when they were asked the question of what does the Democratic Party stand for? It sounds like you wrote it down on a napkin and came out on stage and started spewing it, knowing Sanders was coming behind you. And ultimately, he was going to give an honest portrayal of what he himself believes and that you could somehow just step into the limelight, get a Get an afterglow, kind of like the sunshine hitting the moon, reflecting light off of it, making it look as if the moon is somehow of the luminescence. The moon has no luminescence. That's a reflection. That's the sun hitting it. In the same way, you wanted to stand on that stage and get the light of Sanders to paint yourself as progressive, even though nothing in that speech gave me any context at all to what the things you actually stood for. This is flowery language. You gave me a wish list of things that you believed. I believe that everybody should have flowers and roses in their front yard. Yeah, that's great. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means in regards to policy. Yes, I know what Sanders is saying. I don't know what you're saying. Stop acting as if those two things are the same. Stop acting as if the term progressive is somehow ubiquitous. As if any random Democrat, for the most part, can be as conservative as he wants to be, but somehow it still gets the term progressive. It means it has no meaning. You're stretching it to the degree where it breaks all, all association of actual meaning and definition. Sorry, this is an aside. I'm just, I've been listening to these rallies and to this rhetoric, and it is aggravating to no end. It's aggravating to no end. Let's keep going.